Hello guys, and we are here today with another deck profile. We have here the Element Hero uh, deck profile. This is using cards from the Hero Strike Structure deck. It's real for Blaze Man. I think he comes out in April in the OCG import pack. Whatever that card's pack is called. I've completely forgotten. It isn't like World Championship. Besides that, he just makes the deck. Like, he just makes the deck 20 times better. Because he's pretty much a Stratos. Better than Stratos. Because you can dump shadow mist to get monsters or you can search out poly he's just better i like him a lot more than stratos if stratos came back then that would be great also but it just makes the deck way more consistent just makes it put together and this is just a complete hero deck so let's go and move on three mali and if you guys don't know what it is banish this card from gary or spell summon another copy of itself from it your deck so it is really, really good. Just to make sure that you have monsters, have hero, uh, hero monsters that you can fusion someone with. And then we have Destiny Hero Diamond Dew. This guy is awesome. Once per turn, reveal the top card of your deck. And if it is a normal spell card, send it to the graveyard. During the main phase of the next turn, you can activate the effect of that spell card. Even if you no longer control, if I can speak, Diamond Dew. So that allows for some stupid combos such as Soul Charge getting milled. You can use it, you will still use, lose life points, but you still get your battle phase. If you, if I ran Duality, you could still special summon uh, other monsters that turn. And I don't know about this guy. I don't know about this guy. I think you can, because that's cost and that's condition. The effect of the card is special summon one level four lower. So there's a lot of madness you can do with this. And then we want three Blaze Man. Blaze Man, as I said, is the searcher. You can add one poly or you can send one hero monster. Is it just a hero? Oh no, it's elemental hero. So you can only send Shadow Mist or Bubble Man. And he will become gain his attack and defense will become equal and he will gain that card's attribute. But you pretty much use it to send Shadow Mist to get off the search. And Shadow Mist himself, he searches. If he is special summoned, add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to graveyard, add one hero monster from your deck to graveyard. So a floater, it had cards for you, it's really great, it's our searcher. Summon the monk, you use him to special summon out Shadow Mist. Bubble Man, he can spell summon himself. So he's great for rank fours. One mathematician, he's just another form of Blaze Man. Uh, he can set up a Mali, he can do a lot of decent things, you can use him for Shadow Mist, so he's decent. Two Ecol, uh, he's, it searches just one element to hero. One A Hero Liz, but pay half your life points. Special summon one low four low element to hero monster from your deck. One Rejecky, two Polyamorization, because it's your go-to fusion spell card. Two Rota. Three Destiny draw. Discard a Destiny hero, draw two cards, so that's really nice. Three Miracle Fusion, because you always have monsters in there, so you want to go through it with just getting off a whole bunch of fusion summoning. Two Parallel World Fusion. This card, you might not know, it comes in the structure deck. Choose an element to hero fusion monster in your extra deck. The listed fusion material monsters are banished. Shuffle the banished fusion material monsters into the deck, and then spell summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. It is treated as a fusion summon. You cannot spell summon another monster during the turn you you activate this card and then so it's kind of like duality so one soul charge one mask charge target a hero and a change quick play spell card add them to your hand one mask change two mask chains actually uh target a face up hero monster send to graveyard summon a mask hero with the same attribute that that hero had Form change, send a hero fusion monster to the extra deck, summon out another masked hero with the same level as the original level as the return monster, with, but with a different name. And then you have Snatch Deal and the Refusion Gate. You do not need polymerization to go for a fusion summon, but yet the fusion materials are banished. So that works well with Parallel World Fusion. And pretty much you're just doing a lot of really weird combos. Like it's hard to explain how this deck works. You can either normal summon blaze man and try to get off a uh, fusion summon you can try to if you have the cards already you can go for damage food that is set up for next turn if you send this guy you're allowed to draw two cards for nothing which is great it's perfect so there's a lot of weird and interesting combo this deck has let's go into the extra deck chaos 
Contrast Hero Chaos. Two masked heroes. This card is always treated as an element of hero. Must be fusion summoned, cannot be special summoned. While face up on the field, it is also a light. This return to need to play a turn, target one face up card on the field. Negate that target's effect until the end of this turn. Really, Element of Heroes became very weak without Super Poly, because pretty much it was all about Super Poly. Super Poly was at 3 um, when Element, uh, before Shadows, or when Shadows first came out. So the deck just revolved around getting out Element of Heroes, and then you just Super Poly with the opponent's monsters. And then we have Core, 3 Element of Heroes. Once per turn when this card targets by attack, you can double its attack if it. If this card is attacked or was attacked, if this card, atta w card attacked or was attacked, if I can speak, I can't speak today, guys. Target monsters on the field, destroy that target. When this card leaves the field, you can target a level 8 or lower element of hero fusion monster in your graveyard, special summon it. One Diane, he's a master hero, and he special summons. When he destroys a monster by battle, he can special summon a level 4 lower hero monster from your deck. Vision Hero and Adoration, two hero monsters. Once per turn, target one face up monster your opponent controls. One face up hero monster you control. Except this card, your opponent's targeted monster loses attack and defense equal to the attack of the targeted monster to the end phase. So, this is what you fusion summon these guys with, except there's a better one. Shining, I don't know how I'd make them actually. I don't want light monsters. I used to have them in, like I've been playing this deck for a while and I've been trying to find the perfect build, trying to figure out how to put this deck together. Acid, he's a Harpy's Feather Dust, it's Kuruderu, he's the guy that can build the two. Let's look at a whole the hero fusion monsters, why don't we? Those guys are really hard to make. Those are the Neos. Wow, that was a lot. We could run this guy. Yeah, that guy. Let's run him. And Enki, he comes out. I don't know when he's coming out. I think it's crossover soul. Uh, this card can not can attack your opponent directly, but when it does, battle damage is halved. When this card destroys an opponent on five battle and sends it to the graveyard, add one change with play spell card from your deck to your hand. Pretty simple. Asset Harpy Feather Duster, Scuderu is uh, he He just gains attack for each element of in the grave. That's what he does. And then Ab Zero blows up all your monsters. It's a rejecty when it leaves the field. Vision Hero Trinity. This is what this is the real OTK guy. During the turn, this card was fusion summoned. Its attack is double its original attack. This fusion summon card can attack three times during each battle phase. This card cannot attack your opponent directly, so it can make three attacks on monsters. Or if they have sacrifice, you can attack three times into that same monster. So it's really painful because he has five thousand. And this is what Melo is good for because you can fusion summon with him and then you can summon him out and you always have at least one hero monster. Or two actually if you've done a fusion summon. And then Dark Claw banishes all cards your opponent uh, that is sent to your opponent's graveyard. And if your opponent adds a card from their deck to your hand, you can banish one card from their hand. Then for Xyz we want Blade Armor, Exciton, and Level Fall Chain. And then honorable mentions of cards that I think you guys might want to know about is Trump Witch. I think she came out in Secrets of Eternity. I don't know. Once per turn, feed some one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion material. Unfortunately, monsters you control, so it has to be on the field. Fortunately, it's not better than a uh, fusion gate. Fusion gate pretty much already does it, and it does it better because you can fusion them from hand. So that is the deck profile. Very interesting deck to say the least you're doing a lot of weird combos hard to say how this deck works it's just really really weird but it does it does what it does and i've gone through a lot of changing with the deck i've tried it out with different ways i wanted to build it chaos that didn't really work and i ended up with this i used to run Beals and plague and it didn't really work and this is just what I ended up with. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me what you guys think. How do you guys play heroes? What are your guys' build? They'll all be down below, hopefully. Comment them away. There will be a duel with this deck, and then I'm going to be doing a Shadol hero deck profile. So hopefully that'll be fun for you guys to watch. Hopefully. 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 But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye.